Hi guys, welcome back to HFV. We are in Belgrade, in the capital of Serbia right now. And as you see the name of the channel, this is mainly about football. But today I will be going to the first basketball game of my life. I'm not so much into basketball, so you won't get much of expertise in this. But I have heard that it's really a crazy atmosphere. So today we will be there in the Stark Arena for Partizan Belgrade's basketball team facing Alba Berlin in the Basketball Euroleague. You probably guessed I'm in the city for the Belgrade derby, the Vecchiti derby of football, Zvezda against Partizan. But there's a talk that the atmosphere might be even crazier than at football, even better because it's an indoor space and there are like regular tifos, there is constant support. Can't wait for it, let's go! How old were you when you visited your first Partizan game? I was six years old. It was the day after my sixth birthday when my dad took me to the match. I, I think it was against Borac Stracek. We won 2-1. And, you know, it's stuck with me ever since. It's one of my earliest childhood identities and probably the only thing that I kept since childhood with me to this day. So you guys over here as uh, quite many clubs also in Eastern Europe, also in, in Hungary. You have other sports as well. Being a partisan supporter not, doesn't only uh, include going to football games, but also to basketball, for instance. And how uh, yeah, does... Not, well, uh, it's uh, it, it's kind of like this. Uh, it's not just football and basketball. Uh, partisan is an entire sports society. Partisan has clubs in many, many sports. So we, just, we don't go just to football and basketball. We go, go to handball, water polo, uh, women's basketball many, it's a way many, of life 100 percent well yeah it's you know it's it's not like uh, partisan is your club in football and your club in handball is somebody else you have partisan in handball and it's all partisan and really when you you know partisan is uh, the sport society with the most won trophies in general in the world and in basketball it's uh, always pretty much you know almost no away fans you know, just home fans, and even if there are uh, away fans, it's like 90% to 10%. So, yeah, definitely, if things are going well in the game, basketball is definitely a better atmosphere. You no, know, I mean, it's it's indoors, and the acoustics are better, so it's, you know, far more logical that the atmosphere has better adrenaline. Definitely more moments when the crowd goes goes wild in football, you know, because, uh, yeah, in yeah, yes. basketball, we have, you know, 80 to 100 points scored, and, you know, just to have 10 out of them that are attracted, that's, you know, a big deal. And in football, you can have only one goal sometimes, sometimes no goals. Here we are at the monumental Stark Arena. This place has an 18,000 capacity. It's like huge for a basketball game. I mean, it's even a decent number for football. You get most of like the European first tiers. But here, it's for basketball and it's going to be full house. It's going to be mental. This is where the magic happens.
don't know how it transfers to the screens, but this definitely picks up the race with football atmosphere. It, it's mental, the whole place is just bouncy. Partizan CSKA, if I'm correct, that's a friendship chant with uh, CSKA Moscow. Okay, we are experiencing the basketball VAR right now. And it's a guess who lead from Berlin. They scored 44 points and Partizan Belgrade are of 42. We'll have a longer break now. Here we have the end of the longer break. We can call it half time. Score is now 42-44 to the guests who had the much bigger odds before the game. We'll see whether the home team can do anything with this in the remaining two quarters.
This place is mental, guys. Look at it. No single empty room in this 19k stadium. I know I said 18k before the game. Some sources said 18. Anyway, let's just run it up to 20. It's amazing. And if you look up, like there, the, one of the corners, two tiers full. It's really, really spectacular. So great to see this huge interest. The atmosphere got mental now. A bit more than four minutes left on the third quarter, and Partizan are leading by 12 points 58 to 46. It's really going their way in the third quarter. In terms of the play, the quality, Partizan delivered. They, they literally killed off Alba Berlin. And then the atmosphere, obviously, was the craziest in this quarter. It's just... And now, now all the, the flashlights of the phones. Next card.
much it. Less than two minutes and 14 points. Now that's a banter towards the German, they are saying Auf Wiedersehen, which obviously means goodbye. We saw an 88-74 comfortable win for the home team Partizan against Alba Berlin. The atmosphere definitely lived up to the expectation and as you can see on the Euroleague table it is really tight the fight for the playoffs. The first 8 team out of 18 get into the playoffs to the quarterfinal. Best of luck for that to Partizan. The support is, is mental, it's, it's excellent, it's exactly what I expected as I said. If you're in Belgrade Basketball is definitely one to visit. And now we're moving on to the main occasion. One day after this video drops, the Belgrade Derby, the Eternal Derby video will be up. That's Srena Zvezda against Feka Partizan. Obviously football as every other content on the channel so far. Really, really great experience. It was definitely worth the money. And I hope you liked what you saw. As I said, I couldn't really provide expertise about basketball, but I hope that the atmosphere could be transferred into your screen. I was HFE, join me on the social media platforms on the channel. And once again, I hope you liked what you saw. Until the next time, hit this channel up for the next video, the Belgrade Derby. And I hope to see you around next time. Take care, goodbye.